Good Sunday morning, everybody. Good Sunday morning. Welcome to Sunday with Spirit. For the new people joining, not a political poll, spiritual poll. I like to think of us wherever we're watching this, whatever time we're watching this, that we're all coming together in community to amplify what we're thinking of, which should be love, peace, gratitude, so that we can heal ourselves, heal our planet, and move on to a higher level of consciousness. And so what I wanted to do today was to look at the different levels of consciousness and how do we how do we achieve them? How do we move from this reality that we're in today, 3D to the 4D to the 5D, and you can take it as far as you want, but there's different cultures in the world that do this differently. I like the shamanic culture. It's been around for a couple of years, so it's not a fad. And I've got a lot of past lives in this, so I get to tap into them, as we all do, if we've been around the block a couple of times anyway. So let's just take a look at this. But before I do, um, let's just imagine us getting together around a ceremonial fire. And this will be in a place that you love. So it's going to be different for, for each of us. I love being by the beach, the ocean. Now, the beach can also be New Mexico. Different time. The jungles of the Yucatan Peninsula. Hawaii. Australia, New Zealand, Thailand. Wherever you guys are for your favorite place in nature, Invite us all in. Invite us to experience that. And as we take a couple of deep breaths, just to feel where we are in this 3D world. Remember that these cards, as I flip them over, whatever my interpretation is probably resonates with me whatever your interpretation is, will probably resonate with you more. So let's just see where we are. 3D. This is where we are. 3D. Oh, finality. Does that mean it's ended? We're done? Is that, it? are we, is that it? So this card says, why even try? Just, we're done. Well, no, because it's an opossum. He's probably faking it. And those arrows did not go through. He's holding them there. Look, I'm really dead. Nah, maybe, maybe not. So maybe this 3D world, according to this card, is not as dead as we think it is. Maybe there's still hope. Maybe that's what we have to hold out for. For hope. What's the card say? Overflowing. Abundance. This is the Ten of Cups. This is just so much overflowing abundance. Uh, emotional 
well-being. We have so much on this 3D planet. This is what we came down here to explore, to experience this overflowing abundance. So it doesn't seem like it's the end. It feels like we have so much more. Got to figure out how to manage it a little better. And the third card. Pharmacist. It's interesting, these two are bound together by a, a cloth that keeps one mouth shut and keeps the other's eyes closed. So one can't see, the other can't speak. And they're bound together by that. They're not happy about it. Doesn't seem like. And the other thing with this, those two arrows, this is the two of swords, blind decision, an emotional decision that needs to be made that is, is not, it's not clear which way to go. But in this one, it's, it's a little more urgent because those arrows are into the body. Not like this, where there's two arrows stuck into the opossum, not really stuck into, just pressed against the skin. This one suggests if we don't come together, that it could be fatal. There's got to be a, a, either we're talking too much or we're seeing too much of the, the negative, of the arrows. And so we have the ten of arrows, the two of arrows, and in the center is our abundance. So the, the center card is what we need to focus on more. So how do we get from this finality, this two of swords armistice, into a higher level of consciousness. I'm using the prism oracle for this. How do we do it? This really didn't say how, it just said, get ready for growth. You think you're dead, but you're actually gonna start growing. And I think these two cards need to be blended together by being appreciative of what we have, being grateful for what we have that leads us into growth. And the next card, yay, 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 love. All right. How hard is it to forgive your neighbor for some of the wrongs that they've done? Huge. It's so, we hang on to that so hard if we let it go with love and go back to gratitude, what we have. Oh, we have so much that we take for granted. All right, so 3D, the transition to 4D. I'm using the shamanic dream cards. Hmm. <laughs> And in the four level of consciousness, we have opportunity. We have a caterpillar. So it's interesting. Don't think of the opportunity as normal. 
because if you think of a caterpillar, you don't think of a cat or pillar. You think of an insect, not a series of cats, one on top of each other. That's just silly. But when we go into that higher level of consciousness, don't limit it to what we think of as 3D. Expand your awareness into growth. And look for the caterpillar. <laughs> Love that card, caterpillar. And we are, here we have the sacred contract, the covenant, which is reversed. And in this deck, it's the medicine position. Well, that's what I like to call it in the shamanic decks. So there are, um, in certain shamanic cultures, we, are, we come to earth with two books, our soul contract book, one that we wrote with our guides and angels to um, come down to earth. Why did we come down here? To just have arrows thrown at us? To, to fight all the time? Or to embrace the abundance, the overflowing abundance? But whatever we came down here for, a teacher, a healer, This card suggests that we're not following our soul contract. We have another book that has blank pages and we fill those out every day. What are we doing to stay on our soul's contract? What are we doing to um, ask the energy of Eagle who flies high, who can see the paths below us to see if we're on the wrong path or right path? according to our covenant, our sacred contract. And we have repairing the veil. And that is in medicine position. And it's forgiveness. This arm assist, we need to forgive those who say things against us, who see things that, that are maybe not true. Find the love and turn this repairing the veil, this forgiveness to right side up. So in this, I need to pull some clarifiers on this because this feels like um, that when we get into the higher level of consciousness, this is pulling us back to here, to 3D. We have the opportunity, but we're still not getting it right. So let me... Okay, so I'm going to use two... Uh, mystical Shaman Oracle cards. And this goes back to the seer. This goes back to... growth. Moving up through growth, finding that abundance in the rattle. So it's interesting that these two cards came up for me. To me, the rattle um, suggests grab your tools, grab your spiritual tools, whatever it is that you use to get to an altered state of consciousness. So where you can hear your guides, your angels, your ascended masters, and allow that, that message 
through your tools, whether you go to church, whether you go out into nature, take the time to do the ritualistic things that will allow you to see, to feel, to use all, all of your senses in this fourth level of consciousness, because that's what the shaman does, uses all of their senses. And what is the, the, the connected tissue? I am using return to spirit. So the connected tissue to get to the uh, five level, the fifth level of consciousness, surfacing. feels like with this fourth level, it's, it's really hard to get here. We have to take another step. Maybe it hard isn't the right word. It's just, we need to take another step. We need to surface. So in, in, um, when we do journeying, when we do, um, go to the upper world to get guidance from from a teacher, a master, we have to pop through this veil, <laughs> repairing the veil. We have to pop through this little mist, this veil, to go beyond the stars. And that's surfacing into a fifth level of consciousness. Wow. And in that, there's divinity. So it feels to me like divinity is kind of pulling on our, our collars. Say, let's go. Grabs you by the scruff of the neck and pulls you up, surfaces you. And when we get to the fifth, when we get to the, to the fifth level of consciousness, we get priestess. How are you being called to lead? How are you being called to step up and lead? What are your guides and angels saying? How are you being called to lead? Step up. And you guys hear things in your head right now. Write them down. Oh, and just in case you didn't know, You've been training for this for a lifetime. Is that what it says? No. For lifetimes, multiple times. We have been training for this. We came here for this. We came here in this time in this time for this, and I'm not quite sure what we're doing here with it, but be gentle with yourself in this time. Don't beat yourself up. Don't sit there and go, why am I here? What is it? This is stupid, blah, 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 blah. Give yourself a hug. How can you mother yourself? Maybe with that? I want to go back a little bit to um, these two upside down cards. Repairing the veil and the covenant. 
I want to get some clarifications with that. And because how do we turn those cards around? I'm using my Angels and the Ancestors card. This is the Shaman card. Trust in higher forces. It's very similar to the Seer card. Trust in higher sources. Sage, be devoted, be committed. I didn't need to pull these two cards. But they're pretty. They're, they're nice. It goes back to... To, 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 to this rattle for me. We have to be devoted and committed to doing the work, to doing the ritualistic work that'll get us from the 3D to the 4D to the 5D. It's just not going to happen at once. Now, some people, it, it may happen um, with near-death experiences, Maybe you get a little more clarity then. But it's all about being devoted and committed to finding the right path to repairing this veil and to writing in your life book something that mirrors your soul contract every day we take a step in the step we walk on this earth is it our last one nah we have such abundance be grateful Find love. Don't be afraid of the caterpillar. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great week. Peace and love.